Good evening, um, Helen. Um, could you please um, introduce yourself and tell me what party you're from, please? So I'm Helen Herford and I am the candidate for the Conservative Party in the by-election for Tiverton and Honiton, vote June 23rd. Brilliant. And can you tell me a little bit about yourself, please, um, and your job before politics? OK, so I'm Helen. Um, I have always lived in this constituency, born and raised in Honiton, um, prior to this, so I am still actually working. I have my own business, which is a beauty academy, training people in beauty and also providing the treatments. And prior to that, I was a head teacher and teacher throughout this consistency. Oh, wow. And um, what did you teach? Primary. Oh. The best. <laughs> nice. Um, so can you tell me three surprising or interesting facts about yourself, please? See, I don't think they're very interesting. Everyone but, um, says you that. Know, I'm really good at cartwheels. I'm Are not sure? going to do... No. Oh. No, I have a suit on. You know, no, never mind. Another time. Fine, fine. I'm really good at cartwheels. I am a keen paddleboarder, but I can't stand up. I'm straight in the seeing seat and my, I'm gone. My boyfriend's like that. Yeah. He loves it, but he can't stand up. I try. Yeah. I really try. try, but it's better if I just kneel. Yeah. You know, I'm a pro at kneeling. It's still fun it's when still you kneel. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. It's still um, and I was Honiton Carnival Princess. So once upon a time, I was actually a real life princess. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I went to watch one of my friend's sisters. Um, who had entered it and she didn't, she didn't win. Oh, but yeah. I'd love to have been one of them. It I just looks so fun. And everything. Yeah, it looks Amazing. so fun. Yeah. Um, oh, just, yeah, the nice dress. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, uh, what are your ties to the constituency? You said you've um, lived here. Yeah, so I've born, born and raised here. So I spent the whole of my 43 years here. Um, my parents still live in Honiston. I live in a village just outside called Luppet. Um, oh. I went to Honiton Community College. My children went to Honiton Community yeah. College. Um, I was head teacher here at Sanford Peveril Primary School, yeah. assistant head teacher at Columpton Willowbank Primary School, mm. and then I've taught, so my training everywhere I've taught has been in this constituency. Huge ties. Yeah. My whole life. Brilliant. Um, and what do you consider the role of an MP to be? The role of an MP should be to listen mm. to, its, to the community, to respond, and then act according to what their priorities are. Mm. And that's what I would do. Brilliant. And so why do you think you'd make a good MP? I am so embedded in this community. You know, I've spent my whole life here and I've always been involved in the community and I've always had an impact in people's lives. Um, and it's given me absolutely everything. It really, really has. It's given me a safe place to raise my children. It's given me a fantastic career and it's given me a beautiful home. Um, but I completely understand the realities of living here and I want to represent that in Westminster. So what people's priorities are, are they are concerned about the cost of living and they want to bring further jobs to the area, you know, so that our economic growth can happen. Um, we want to make sure that our roads and rail links are far much better so we can get through Columpton. So we need that relief mm. road so we can see our friends and our families far much more easier. Um, our policing, tackling our rural crime um, and, you know, things like that. Mm. Obviously, we know that we've got 281 police officers coming to Devon and Cornwall soon yeah. um, let's make sure we get our fair share yeah. um, and obviously the NHS is a massive massive issue I and mean, we need to make sure that the 36 billion funneling in the next three years is putting in the right places here in, in Tiverton and Honiton and not forgetting how could you ever forget our wonderful wonderful farmers that just goes without saying representing and doing the best for our farmers absolutely brilliant thank you um, and so what are your um, campaigning priorities I've just gone through them to you uh, that, that, <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, I guess you tied that in with why you'd make a good MP. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Um, so what what message do you have for people who are kind of on the fence about which way to, to vote? Because I suppose they weren't, yeah. weren't expecting. No, uh, this, was, this, this was unexpected, wasn't it? Um, what I would say is have a really long, hard think about what you want to happen for the next two years um, when we'll have a national election. Mm. Do you want somebody to represent you who's only going to go to Westminster to shout from the sidelines and not be able to work with the government to bring back everything that we deserve here? Because remember, I'm a resident here, so whoever wins will be representing me, my children and my family. Or do you want somebody who is going to go to West Westminster working with the Conservative Party, because they are part of the Conservative Party, to make sure that we deliver, mm -hmm. to make sure that we get our funding for our roads, to make sure that our NHS gets its fair share of the money coming our way in the next three years, to make sure that the police officers um, are brought this way so that we continue to open our police stations. Tiverton's open, I would love to see Honiton open, in fact I'd love to see Seaton open as well and even Axminster, mm. you know we really 
you need somebody that is so passionate about this area, so invested in this area, that there's, there's, there's no way that I wouldn't deliver. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so I just have a couple of uh, quick fire questions for you. Oh, um, where is your favourite place to go for a walk in the constituency? Uh, well, it's got to be Dumden, Fort Hill. It's just above from where I yeah. live, it's stunning. I don't know if you know it. No, I've not been up there Oh, oh you have to go. Seriously, it's it. beautiful. It's beautiful. Brilliant. Um, where is your favourite place to go for a cream tea? Could be the grazing cow. Do you know the grazing cow? No, I've heard of it oh, though. To die for. Is it all my... and, and really nice portion sizes. I'm oh, a bit greedy. That's no, yeah. same, same. <laughs> my favourite place is the canal tea rooms, which is just over there. Is it nice and generous. Oh yeah, and yeah. they're. Oh, Shouldn't have told me that. Shit. I'll do a pit stop there now. So do it. You, yeah. you must. Yeah. <laughs> um, if a VIP came to the constituency, all right. So that could be anyone from Taylor Swift. Oh um, right. Okay. To the Queen. Oh. To. I don't know, who would you consider the most, like a, it could be a celebrity, a politician, anyone. Anyway, um, okay. Where's the first place you'd take them? Other than my mum's, because she'd kill me if I didn't take them round to meet her. After your mum's? After my mum's. Ooh. I'd have to take them somewhere pretty spectacular. Do you know, I'd take them to Seaton. Seaton, Seaton Bear or Branscombe, and they'd have to have fish and chips at the beach. There's no better place than sat looking at that sea. Yeah? Yeah. Fair enough. Um, what is your favourite fact about the constituency? My favourite fact would have to be, because I'm a bit of a royalist, is that did you know that Honiton made the lace for Queen Victoria's dress and beer wedding wedding dress and beer actually made the dress? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I know that Hesket Factory made the um, lace for the veil for uh, Queen Elizabeth. There we go. Um, wedding. Yeah. See, which is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if I gave you a thousand pounds today, which I do not have. You know. But it's an imaginary okay. thousand pounds. Right. I'm sorry. Um, which charity would you give it to, or split it between? Okay, so it's got to be um, the Wish charity, which is for people with children. So that 500 would go to them, and 500 is gonna have to go to help the heroes. I've got a lot of military mm. in my family, so it's got to go there as well. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for sitting down um, with me this evening. It's been a pleasure. Um, yes. Um, and thank you for the cream tea tip. Oh, that's all right. Um, <laughs> you must go there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.